Hi, and welcome to this video in which I would like to demonstrate our personalization functions. Out of the box, Shopware has several ways of personalizing the customer experience. Feature-wise, the centerpiece here is called Rule Builder. You can use the Rule Builder to flexibly create, manage, and apply rules to several areas, such as shipping or uh, payment methods, but also much, much more. Let's have a look together in our demo store. The Rule Builder can be found in our administration under Settings, Shop, and then Rule Builder. Here you see I've already created six rules. Let's have a look at one which is already there. For example, the rule sales channel demo shop. So what I would uh, like to set up here or want to set up here is a condition that only the sales channel demo shop should be applicable. In my case, you have the general field up to the top here where you can give a name, sales channel demo shop, a priority, 90, a description for internal further um, yeah, explanation on what that rule should be. You can group it to the different type of, of application areas. Here we have shipping, payment or price. In the future, also content to have customized content per customer group, for example, will also be uh, available. And down here, which is most interesting, is uh, the condition uh, setting, where you have the condition to the left-hand side, an operator, and then the actual selection of the different options for this condition. In my case here, we have sales channel is one of demo shop. But you have multiple more conditions which you can pick which need to be true before something is triggered, an action is triggered, like for example, a certain uh, payment method is available. Let's have a look. Sales channel, date range, if you want to um, have a promotion only applicable for a certain date range, for example, time range, count of orders, days since last order, currency, billing country, street, postal code, customer group, customer number, address fields, is new customer, last name, business customer, shipping, shipping country, street and postal code, cart amount, goods count, Goods price, line item of type, line item, line item and card, in line item count and card, line item total price, unit price with quantity, free shipping, days of the week, weight of card, line item tag, and always valid. So you see literally nearly all of the fields you have available can be used to then set up a condition to trigger then only if this is um, true a certain action. But let's make a couple of examples here. So just to give you uh, more background information, um, under settings you find the rule builder, but actually it is also always integrated in the respective modules of the admin wherever rules can be applied to trigger a certain action. In my examples, um, it is actually in the shipping module because I want to set up certain um, shipping methods uh, only if a certain rule or condition is valid. So let's go to the shipping module, which you can find under settings, shop, and then shipping. Right now you see that only the two shipping methods, standard and store pickup um, are created. But I want to add in my example now, free shipping for a customer that has not ordered yet. Okay, let's add a shipping method. In my case, free shipping. Activate, you can give further uh, description and upload a logo. You can set the delivery time, in my case, two to five days. You can give it a tag. And now you have availability. This is the one which is most interesting for us because it should not be applicable for all customers. But as I said, only for customers who have not ordered yet. Okay, so let's look here. You see a preview of all of the rules which are already there. And from this specific module, you can also directly jump into a shortcut to the rule builder by clicking on create new rule. Here you have it, so to say, in another pop-up window, which you can then use to create a new rule. So in my example, um, new customer who has not ordered yet. Priority, further description if you want it, and then we get to the um, conditions. In my case, I would like to take the condition 
count of orders and then you search for the right operator is equal to, in my case, zero. And thus we have created a rule or condition actually that, um, yeah, that kind of explains new customer who has not ordered, namely count of order is equal to zero. Okay, let's save it. And now, by the way, it's also saved for other modules. If you in other areas of the administration want to have the condition has not ordered yet, customer has not ordered yet and want to apply it, you can then uh, take it directly from the list of existing rules. Now to finish off the shipping method overall, we need to add a price matrix, in my case based on line item count. So for example, from uh, one to five, it could have a certain uh, price and then as of six, another price. But for my, uh, for my setup, it's enough to have it as of uh, one until um, uh, independent of how many airline items. And then obviously price in my case is zero as I want to have a free shipping method. I check uh, the pricing uh, matrix, save it. Perfect. And now in the overview, we see we have another shipping area. Um, before the shipping um, method will be uh, available in the storefront, we need to allocate it to the respective um, sales channel or storefront, in my case, demo shop. Let's quickly jump in there and scroll down to the shipping methods. Only send it in store pick at pick up have been uh, chosen now. And let's add the free shipping for now as well. Perfect. In my um, uh, customer database, there is already an example in here for a customer who has not ordered yet. So let's have a, a quick look who um, that is. That should be our example customer, example surname. And if we click to orders, we see no orders yet. Perfect. So this customer obviously fills right into the conditions uh, to get uh, free shipping. So let's see how it looks in the storefront. I log into as a example customer. Okay, perfect. And now do a bit of shopping. So for example, fashion. Yes, perfect. Let's take this t-shirt, go to the shopping cart. Okay, let's try that one more time. <laughs> Pick a t-shirt, which is actually available. Okay go to the checkout and here we see now if we want to change the shipping you see perfect free shipping is available simply because I'm a customer who has not uh, ordered yet thus I have the opportunity to um, uh, choose that one and we also see now in the shipping cost in the summary we have zero pound indicated for our for free shipping Perfect. Let's make another example using the rule builder to individualize the shipping methods we have available. Therefore, let's go to back to the demo store and log out as example customer. Perfect. In my a second example, I would like to set up um, a shipping cost or a shipping method, which is actually called express shipping. So a quicker shipping uh, method than for usual customers. And this should only be applicable for my customer group, VIP customers. Let's see how this works. Let's go back to the shipping module, add a fourth um, uh, shipping method. In my case, express. Active, give it a, a description if you want, add lo a logo to it. Delivery time, in my case, only one day because it's express. Tag, I don't want to use any tags here. And now again, most interestingly, availability. Let's use another rule to only have this available for the customer group VIP customers. So description here or name, customer is in customer group VIP customers. Give it a priority. Here you can give further indication in the description. Now let's search for the conditions. In my case, it would be customer group. 
and we pick as one of, and in my case, not standard customer group, but VIP customers. Thus, you uh, limit the availab availability of this shipping method only to the customer group VIP customers. Let's save it. Give a pricing uh, matrix indication again, based on line item, for example. In my case, of course, this is now not um, for free, but maybe for 5.90. Perfect, let's save it. Let's allocate the new uh, shipping method to our demo shop so that it's in general available. Here we go. And let's have a quick look if there's a customer already in my customer database, which uh, fulfills this condition. Therefore, I've created example one surname, and you can see right here um, that example uh, number one should have an allocation to our um, VIP customer. Yes, he does or she does. So in this case, the customer group is VIP customer and not the standard customer group. So for example, one surname, now the express uh, shipping should be applicable. Also what's interesting, um, example one surname does have orders in here. So uh, now in the storefront, uh, she should not um, see the for free shipping uh, available as um, she already ordered and thus the condition for free shipping is not applicable. But let's uh, make an example here. Okay, perfect. Let's now log in with the login details from example one. do a bit of sh uh, shopping here. For example, under grills. Perfect. Let's buy this grill here. Go to the shopping cart. And as you can see here already, free shipping is not available. Okay, perfect. So as I am not someone who has not ordered, this is perfectly fine. So let's change, change the shipping method and let's see what is available. Perfect. So in addition to the standard uh, shipping method, standard in store pickup, I now have the express shipping method available simply because the rule applies because I am a part of the VIP customer group, as you saw in the admin a bit earlier. Perfect. Thus, I can just uh, check express I shipping, save it. And you also see in the summary that shipping costs now uh, change from zero um, uh, pound for free shipping to 590, the price that I allocated to the express shipping. So in conclusion, obviously the rule will like, give you a vast area of application examples. So um, that you can really use any kind of condition and any kind of field that you have in your database to customize the experience in terms of pricing, shipping or payment methods, but also in the future in terms of customized content, for example, based on customer groups. Further information on how you can use the rule builder can be found in our documentation under docs.chopper.com under configuration, setting shops, and then rule builder. Here you also find more information to all of the condition fields that are available in the rule builder. That's the video on the rule builder. I hope you enjoyed it and you got lots of inspiration on how to individualize the customer experience based on the rule builder. Thanks for watching.